my monthly manifestation routine for massive business breakthroughs. My monthly manifestation routines are a big secret to my success in business. Today I'm walking you through all of the rituals that I perform on a monthly basis to manifest constant growth in my business. Today you will discover the manifestation rituals that I perform on a monthly basis and the work tasks that I do on a monthly basis to take action towards my success because we can't just manifest business success without actually taking action. So a lot of the rituals that I'm sharing with you today are not just based on sitting there and thinking, although that is part of it as well, but they are also based on action that I take to bring the results into my own reality. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less Manifest More movement. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy and I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So I would love to know, do you have any monthly rituals that you currently perform for your own business? I would love to know what they are. And I'd also really love to know what you think of my content. What do you like best? What improvements would you like to see? And do you have any questions for me as I would love to help you? So let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel, or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. And I also wanted to remind you that I produce three pieces of content for all of my content pieces that I produce, a blog, podcast, and a video. So here are my monthly manifestation routines for massive business breakthroughs. Each new month is a very significant time for my business. I treat the start of a new month kind of like the start of a brand new year. At the start of every month, I review my previous month's results, calculate my revenue, expenses and profit levels, and then transfer money out of my business into various different places. I also end a product launch at the end of the month, and every new month is a brand new focus for my business, both behind the scenes and also in terms of what my audience sees publicly. So it's like wiping the slate clean and starting afresh at the start of each new month, and I really love how that feels. Whatever happened last month, I get to begin again with a new fresh energy and I find that very exciting. So because each month is such a pivotal time for my business, most of my regular routines that I do every so often happen on a monthly basis. I don't really have very many big weekly rituals and I don't really have any massive three month goals unless I'm creating a really big project. Uh, product but usually I split the product into three sections and then I still put one of the sections out every single month so I, I do do three month uh, goals but mainly I focus on monthly goals and and I don't even have all that much that happens at the start of a new calendar year or financial year so because of that, I base all of my important success rituals that are not daily routines around the end and the start of a new month. I really feel like these monthly success rituals are responsible for a lot of the success in my business and I want to share them all with you today. So let's start with what I do at the end of every month. I allocate five days out of every month for my monthly routine and that might seem a lot but you'll see what I do as part of this and I do get a lot done in these five. And I now take about four days at the end of every month to work on my monthly success rituals and I take one day at the start of each new month for my monthly routine. So here's what I do during the four days at the end of the month. I do my business manifestation planning first of all. So what I do is I take myself through a list of journaling prompts that I have created for myself that help me to plan out the next month in my business. This process is so valuable as it really helps me think about what I want to create, what goals I want to set, what I want to manifest and who I want to become in the process. 
This usually takes me a couple of hours and I think it is a very valuable use of my time. Sometimes I do this process during my morning routine if I'm short of time. And I share my own monthly business plans every single month with you. And you can look at the blog post and click the link within the blog post and there is a link that says uh, manifest with me and you can click on that link and see my monthly planning process that I go through every single month. Then I do my manifestation rituals. During this business manifestation planning time, I also perform a few manifestation rituals to help me manifest what I want in my business. I do my monthly scripting practice, I write a list of brain stamps and a couple of other things that I love to do which are very powerful. And I also map out the next month in great detail and I time stamp my month by deciding what I'm going to focus on when. And I call these future overviews. Next, I plan my new product. I do try to launch one new product each month. So that means I need to take time on a monthly basis to plan each new product. And I really enjoy creating a new product and planning it. And if this seems like a lot of hard work to you, just don't worry because you don't have to do this. I'm not advising you to do this. I simply just enjoy this so much that I like to incorporate this into my regular business routine. And then I create an overview of my product. I write names for all my content and then I write my sales page. Then I create a new opt-in freebie. To promote each new product, I do love to create a new free gift that I give away free when people join my email list. And sometimes I create a workshop and other times it's something like a cheat sheet or a challenge. After that, I plan my free content that I'm going to create next month. I create two pieces of content per week so that usually works out at eight or nine content pieces per month and I just plan the titles and add my content to my content matrix which is part of my dream business framework to see if it's nicely balanced and targeting the right areas that will lead to growth for my business. And I do have on my to-do list to also plan out a month's worth of daily short videos at this point, but usually I end up dedicating another whole day to both planning, recording and creating a month's worth of short form content for social media. Next, I plan the dates for my launch and I write the emails that are going to help sell the product that I am launching. While I'm doing this, I also create a new email template that I will use for most emails next month. Every month, I also switch the ads, my own ads advertising my own products that I have throughout the content on my blog. And I display different opt-in freebies every single month. So I create those in advance and then I switch those out on the first of every month. Then I create new monthly systems. There are various admin systems related tasks that I do every month, such as creating a new document template for creating each new content piece, creating a new slide deck for my new products, creating a new podcast outro, creating a new monthly plan for my assistant and deciding what I'm going to promote on all of my social media accounts. So far, I've shared everything that I do the last for working days of each month. And now we're going to move on to what I do at the start of each month, which is just one day at the start. What I do is my monthly business review. So on the first working day of the month, I do what I call my first of the month tasks, which is mostly reviewing the previous month's results. And I dedicate a whole day to the following tasks. I increase my prices, I change my blog ads, I change my public promotions, I calculate my revenue, expenses and profit for last month, I reconcile my transactions in my accounting software, which is zero, and I ask my accountant to take a look, I transfer any money from various different accounts into other different savings accounts and pay my salary and that kind of thing, I record and track all of my stats, including my social media, 
email list, blog traffic, etc. I look to see what was the most popular content from last month. I update all of my websites that are not currently managed by a tech team, updating the plugins and the themes. I check the results of any split tests I had running. I back up my computer. It's, it's always backed up on a daily basis, but I do another backup once a month. I organize all my files and I move any photos, screenshots, downloads, and Google Docs to the correct location. I like to be very organized. <laughs> I used to work in a big mess and I it really stressed me out. So now I have decided to make this part of my success ritual because I love to feel clear headed by having everything in the right place so it's easily uh, findable in the future by me and my team members. After that, I do a monthly stamp reflection. So at the end of the day or sometimes during my morning routine the following morning, I get out my reflection journal and use a variety of journaling prompts that help me reflect on the previous month. And I find this so helpful to reflect on how the month has gone and I write down my feelings, whether or not I hit my goals and how I feel about that. And it really helps me to let go of any disappointment or understand what excites me and what I want to improve the following month. And I really look forward to doing this task. And then I do my manifestation milestones board. I also see if I hit any of my manifestation milestones that I had set as goals. And if I did, I move them onto my manifestation milestones board. And this is such a fun task that gives me such a feeling of accomplishment. And if you want to do this yourself, you can get my free manifestation milestones pack by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. One of my biggest secrets to success is to set up regular routines that I call success rituals for performing manifestation techniques that I use to manifest massive business success. And a lot of people ask me how to set up success rituals for business manifestation that don't end up being overwhelming or too time consuming. So I created a business manifestation toolkit where I share all of the tools that you need for manifesting business success that easily slot into your morning, evening and monthly routines and your working day. Because as I said before, we can't just sit there and manifest business success unless we actually take action and work on our business. So this toolkit helps you to do that. And this easy to use toolkit includes all of the tech, the tools, the techniques and the routines that I use to consistently manifest success in my business. And you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash manifestation toolkit. So make sure that you don't miss my next podcast episode by subscribing to my podcast, Manifest Business Success. I will also send you an email when my next piece of content has arrived as I give away so many more free gifts to my email subscribers. And you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my free manifestation milestones board pack, which you can get by going to kathkyle.com forward slash milestones. Now it is your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.